Hey guys, this is Pickle, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your Arsenal game look better. Now before this video starts, if you guys could drop a like and subscribe since a lot of people don't like my video. I get more comments than likes on my videos, which is kind of embarrassing. Please drop a like and subscribe, and um, yeah, I'm trying to get to 100k this year, and I know I can do it with you guys' help, so please drop a like and subscribe, and I'm going to be making more banger videos every single day. Also, please follow my Twitter and join my Discord because my Discord and my Twitter is lit as well. But other than that, let's get right into the video. I got all this information from Extravies, I think how you say it's uh, YouTube channel will be linked in the description, as well as like his video tutorial, his channel and his video tutorial will be in the description. So you guys can like, you know, that's where I basically got this from. Really taking his video and applying it to how to do it in Arsenal since Bandai's and uh, GDI made a video on, you know, this. Also, I do not know if you can actually get banned for this. So I actually am on my all account, pin all. If you want to hit follow with it, just go ahead. And um, yeah, so do set your own caution. If you want to do this on your main account, just beware that you might, you know, you might get banned. I mean, I've seen Bandai's and GDI do it on their main accounts, I think. So I think you're safe. All right, guys. So the first link in the description and um, the pinned comment, it'll actually lead you to this download mega file which is called Extravi's Reshade Zip, which is made by the Extravi YouTuber. Like I said, his um, link will be in the description for his channel and the video. So all you wanna do is just download this. By, by the way, Mega is a, actually a safe, like a really safe um, download thing. So if you get anything that redirects you to Mega to download something, as long as you know what it is, um, it's pretty safe. All right guys, so now when it's about finished downloading, it'll actually decrypt and it'll actually pop up a file right here. So what you wanna do right now is that you, you wanna go on the desktop, you wanna download this on your desktop and then it'll download right there. As you can see, it's downloaded right there. So what you wanna do is go on your desktop and it'll actually be right here. Just give it a second to load. There we go. We have the zip file. So what you want, all you want to do is just press extract all. And you'll actually bring up another folder into the corner right here, which you can actually drag. And then I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys from there. So once that is downloaded, you'll actually get this thing popped up. You can actually just close out of this and you can drag this over here. So now we have these two files. These are the two files you really need to um, actually do this. Also, you can go ahead and delete this because we don't need this anymore. So what you want to do is you want to go inside here and you actually can get all these right here. Now, what you actually want to do before you actually um get to any setups or anything is what you want to do is... um. Press the Roblox player, wherever Roblox is downloaded, where it says Roblox player, make sure you uh, press it and then go to properties. And then uh, what you want to do is go to open file location, which is under here. And then what you want to do is press this down button and copy this entire thing. It's like a shortcut. So after you did that, run the setup right here in the Extravi um, folder, which is right here, reshade setup 4.11. Um, what you want to do is press select. And then you want to go right here and you want to uh, press control V and then press enter and then you'll have this thing right here all you have to do is press it press the beta and then press open and then now what you have to do is you have to press open gi and press yes and then let it download and once it's done downloading just uncheck all of these and then press ok and then boom you're pretty much done so now what you really have to do now is um take all these these three shader things the open gl extra B shade preset and the uh, reshade shaders and what you want to do is you want to drag these into let me grab these again and drag them into the roblox file thing and then boom and then just replace the files it'll be okay and then boom later when you want to uh, delete these all you have to do is go into the roblox file thing and just delete these right here and then you should be you should be on your way so now i think you can close out of everything and then just load up a roblox game obviously we're gonna load up arsenal because that's what we're doing and um yeah so let's just load up into an arsenal game and yeah so as you can see when you load up into a game you'll actually have like a little thing in the, a little bar at the top we'll get to that in a second so what i'm gonna do is right now okay let's make sure that it's smooth and stuff make sure my settings is, my settings is straight so now what you want to do to open this thing is you want to press the home key i'm actually gonna show you guys what the home key looks like it's like the left bracket and all you have to do is just press that if you have a 60 percent keyboard press fn in that um press uh, skip the tutorial and then what you want to do is go to the, the default preset and we want to go down to extravious reset reshape uh preset so after that's done i think yeah your game will change it'll um put on the shaders and yeah it'll take if your graphics card is actually pretty bad it might actually like crash your game but if you have like i have a 1080 right now and like a, a bad i have a bad cp like a ryzen 3 my game is still able to run that so that's pretty crazy if you want to make it easier to toggle on the thing um the, the, the shader thing all you have to do is just press this and then make that um the end key which is the right bracket and then press um, home key again to get rid of it and then now you're able to play the game with the share pack the game is literally about to end but as you guys can see this actually looks pretty insane oh god and um yeah it's pretty intense like the, the graphics are pretty intense you know not even do like this is not even the one that gdi and um bandites is using they're using different ones this is just like the like more simple down version if you want to like do more um tweaks with it like you want to make the ground reflective like freaking ultra insane settings then uh actually i don't know how to do that all i know is how to install this shader pack and get this far but if you guys want to like i'm pretty sure there's more videos on youtube on how to like make it more like intense and more like you know realistic looking just watch other youtube videos but this is based on the basics on how to actually get it looking like this 
And um, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, please drop a like, subscribe. I'm actually trying to get to 100k subscribers this year. Support the dream. It'll be pretty insane if you guys can actually get me there. Like I said, a lot of people don't like my videos. They, there's more comments than likes. So please like the video if you can. And yeah, guys, it's been Pinkle. And I am out. Peace.